Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima. Welcome back to Blue Boards. This time I'm going to ramble at you about King Domino for five minutes because, well, this game is about as simple as Onitama. It's basically a really simple drafting game. You pick a tile based on where you end up in the player line out and then try and add it to your kingdom. And the way that you add it is that you need to add it next to a tile that already has that kind of tile next to it. So you can add a desert to a desert, a forest to a forest, a ocean to an ocean, and so on. And spread out your construction of dominoes over the course of the game into a 5x5 five five grid. And at the end of the game, you add up your points based on the amount of crowns you have multiplied by the amount of spaces that the areas with crowns have within them, orthogonally. So you can have this absolutely massive wheat field, but if you don't have any crowns there, it's not going to help you out at all. And it's really that simple, but where this game adds that little bit of extra difficulty is in, of course, the crown system I just mentioned. Because you need to be keeping your eyes out for crowns, you need to figure out good places to put them, and a lot of the time they are just stuck in with the other types of terrain as well. That can make them that little bit harder to find a position for them in your kingdom. So you need to be careful of that. And tr this whole puzzle of trying to maintain your 5x5 five five limit within your uh, kingdom while simultaneously making as big of an area as possible to score points on is an interesting little exercise. And then you put on top the way the drafting works. You draft random tiles from the box itself. It tells you to put them in a line and put them somewhere where players can't see it and draw them out four at a time. And then you arrange them in order of the numbers that are listed on the back. And the generally better tiles usually have the higher numbers on the back. It makes it so that the stronger tiles will always end up later down the line, simultaneously making it so that if you pick a stronger tile, you will go later in the next set of tiles. So if something comes out that you really need, someone else is gonna snatch it up. And this combination of needing to prioritize power over draft picking, needing to keep an eye on your kingdom, make sure you don't stretch out too much one way or another way, it creates this interesting little game. And it helps out that the game is really short. It says on the box that the game is about 15 minutes long, and that's genuinely about how long it is. And it's really nice as a result of that. It's really easy to just take it out of the box, play it, put it back in the box, and you'll be done in about 20 minutes. It's a great filler. It's streamlined, but it's not overly simple. It gives you enough to think about, and the most complicated thing about it is needing to do some math at the end of the game to add up your score. And that's kind of what you're hoping for in the best kinds of fillers. And this certainly sits in that ballpark. And it's produced really well as well. The meeples are nice, and the dominoes especially are very well done. They're very thick cardboard. They've been produced in a way that makes them very durable. This game is going to stay in good shape for a very long time. And then, on top of that, you've got three different ways to play the game. Four player, three player, and two player. Four player is the best. Three player means that one domino of the four dominoes you draw out just gets discarded. However, I admit I'm not the biggest fan of the two player variant just because of the fact that you only use half the dominoes in the box to actually play the game, the rest are just out of the game completely. And so you can't look at the back of the manual in order to get a realistic representation of just how many dominoes there are left in the box. You might be relying on a certain crown to come out and it just never comes out. Or too many of another type might come out and you might be forced down one particular strategy. And I admit, I'm just not that big of a fan of that concept, and so I prefer to play the game at three or four more than I do two. But with that said though, I really like King Domino. It's super simple. I enjoy the area puzzle, I enjoy the drafting and the consequences that come with it. It looks really nice, it creates that feeling of satisfaction, it's a really well-built game, and... I just like what I see. I'm gonna have to buy Queen Domino because apparently if you get Queen Domino, you can play the dominoes even further out to make a 7x7 game, and that sounds absolutely fantastic. This has been Blue Maxima. Sorry this one was so short, but I'm still a bit sick, so I can't really record for longer than a few minutes at a time. I'll see you all next time.